a firm wants to develop a pro forma financial statement then the first step it takes it so in a pro forma financial statement we try to generate the the financial statements that is income statement or the balance sheet for the future years so first we have to assume the driver for both the statements and in this case we assume that the revenue growth or the future revenue growth is is my driver and all the other items except taxes common shares and long term debt as well as interest paid on it except these items all the other items are expressed as a percentage of sales so using using cumulative growth method or the cagr we can establish the revenue growth for the future years and based on that revenue growth or the sales growth we can estimate the value of the cost of goods sold the total assets and the op operating income and many other entities in the financial statement as well as the balance sheet so estimating the future revenue growth is the first step in developing a pro forma financial stand analysis statement and once a financial statement has been has been made for the future then we can find that the value of the asset is not matching with the value of the liability or at plus the owner's equity so in that case we can generate a financial surplus or financial deficit so in this in case we have a financial surplus that is the value of asset is greater than the value of liability plus owner's equity then or the value of asset is less than the value of liability and owner's equity then we decrease the long term debt so in the second iteration we actually change these items that is common shares or the long term debt depending on whether we have financial surplus or financial deficit after the first iteration so the starting point is estimating the future revenue growth hence the option b is the correct option